Hello and welcome to 3.0 OTV. This is Vaibhavi Savant and let's start with today's headlines. Cryptocurrencies fall on sticky US inflation data. Bitcoin falls below $22,000. Crypto custody firm BitGo to sue Galaxy Digital for $100 million. VC firm North Zone raises $1 billion fund for fintech Web3 investments. Fidelity may offer crypto trading to brokerage customers. NFT marketplace Doodles raises $54 million at $704 million valuation. Ronin NFT sales fall below $1 million for the first time in 16 months. Investment giant KKR puts portion of private equity fund on Avalanche blockchain. Abu Dhabi regulator introduces its guiding principles for crypto. Opera crypto browser integrates MetaMask ahead of Ethereum merge. And let's get into the story in detail. Cryptocurrencies erase its intraday gains after US consumer price index based inflation hovered near four decade high and was higher than consensus expectation, triggering fresh fears of extended aggressive Federal Reserve rate move. Bitcoin slipped below $22,000 after the data. US stock future plunged, reversing its gain after key indices posted gains in overnight trade amid optimism that retail inflation will ease sooner than later. Cryptocurrencies have been strongly correlated with the moves of S&P 500 and Nasdaq for the past few months. Cryptocurrency also fell as the dollar index, which measures the strength of the green bank against a basket of currencies, rebounded strongly after the release of inflation data. The Labor Department on Tuesday reported its consumer price index rose 8.3% in August from the same month a year ago, down from 8.5% in July and from 9.1% in June, which has largest inflation rate in four decades. Core CPI, which excludes volatile energy and food prices, increased 6.3% in August from a year earlier. Up sharply, from 5.9% rate in both June and July, a signal that broad price pressure strengthened. The FOMC will be closely scrutinizing inflation data to determine whether to quicken or slow its phase of interest rate hikes. Fed swap shows 75 basis points hike for September fully priced after the release of consumer price index inflation data. Bitcoin was recently trading around $21,460, down over 4% in the past 24 hours. The largest cryptocurrency was trading about $22,400 ahead of the inflation data. ETH, the second biggest cryptocurrency, traded around $1,620, down nearly 7.5% in a similar time span. All other major altcoins, too, traded lower. Crypto custody company BitGo has sued crypto financial services firm Galaxy Digital and is seeking more than $100 million in damages for breaching merger agreement. California-based BitGo has alleged that Galaxy Digital intentionally breached its $1.2 billion merger, which was announced in May last year. The complaint was filed in Delaware Chancery Court and on September 15, it will be made public. BitGo declared its intention to sue Galaxy on August 15, while terming the termination of the deal as absurd. Last month, Galaxy reported a second quarter net loss of $554.7 million following a pledge in the value of cryptocurrencies. UK venture capital firm Nordzone has raised a 1 billion euro fund to invest in innovative technology such as crypto, according to a press release on 13 September. The London-based company will utilize the funding to support fintech and cryptocurrency entrepreneurs. Nordzone has considered investing in cryptocurrency before. A $27 million fundraising round for Magic Numbers and Ethereum-based authentication platform was led by Nordzone in July 2021. At about the same time, the business participated to a $20 million fundraising round 
for live peer and ethereum based decentralized video transcoding platform Financial services giant Fidelity is weighing plans to let individual brokerage customers trade Bitcoin according to a report in Wall Street Journal. This potential move follows BlackRock partnering with Coinbase to offer crypto trading to its institutional customers. Earlier this year, Fidelity announced plan to allow corporate clients to add Bitcoin to the 401k plans it manages for them. Fidelity has more than 34.4 million individual brokerage accounts according to the report. Non-fungible token that is NFT marketplace Doodles has raised 54 million dollars at a 704 million dollars valuation. The round was led by 776, the venture capital firm created by Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohanian. Doodles specializes in profile pictures. Accrue Capital FTX Ventures, the venture capital arm of crypto exchange FTX, and Tenty Holdings also participated in the funding round. One of the most successful NFT blockchains of all time, Ronin reached a new high low in August with $939,432 in sales, according to data from Crypto Slam. The sharp fall in sales is believed to be due to steep decline in unique buyers of digital collectibles and dwindling interest in the market. The first week of September was positive for Ronin as Sky Marvels added Google to its growing roster of firms helping to secure the gaming-centric Ethereum sidechain network. Besides that, authorities in United States helped recover $30 million worth of crypto from the Ronin Bridge hack, in which hackers stole around $600 million. While several analysts have blamed the dip in sales on a decline in demand for Axie Infinity NFTs, others believe that the Ronin Bridge hack was the primary reason. Several users of the site chain lost funds in the attack, leading to downward spiral in the demand for digital collectibles on platform. US investment firm KKR and company has made its healthcare strategic growth fund available on Avalanche blockchain. KKR, which had 471 billion dollar in asset under management at the end of 2021, is working with digital asset management platform Securitize Capital, which will handle the onboarding of new investors. Individuals will be able to invest in KKR's healthcare fund through a tokenized feeder fund. on the avalanche blockchain provided by securitys kkr said it hopes that the tokenized healthcare fund will provide a more accessible investment vehicle to individual investors that's it for today this is vibhavi savant signing off keep watching 3.0 tv